Okay, welcome to this uh, short video demonstration of using publications in Business Objects X5 3.1 uh, to generate a number of PDFs and store them in a file location based on dynamic recipients. Uh, this will all be done within the Central Management Console. So let's log into the CMC. Go to the Folder section. Publishing and I have uh, two reports in there. Uh, the results revenue report is the report I am going to be publishing. So let's just have a quick look at that. Okay, maybe not such a quick look, maybe a, a long look at it. Um, basically, while we're waiting for this to load, uh, this report is based on the island resorts universe um, and shows you uh, revenue for each resort. Uh, one important thing to note is that in the query for this particular report, I've brought through the resort ID as well as the resort name. We will be filtering on the uh, resort ID. So there you go, there's the uh, uh, the data there. Um, I also have a control report. I'm going to use this for my dynamic recipient list, although it is going to be used purely for filtering uh, data rather than distributing to some location like email but as you can see in there I've just got the resort ID and the resort name so let's create the publication to do that go to the manage menu choose new and publication so we'll give it a name I'll just call it uh, resorts publication and then we'll choose the document we're going to publish. So go to Source Documents and click Add. Uh, let's go to the Publishing folder and select the Results Revenue Report. So there you go. Make sure the Refresh at Runtime tick box is ticked, otherwise uh, the data won't refresh. Let's go straight to Dynamic Recipients. So we need to select a source report. In this case, it's a web intelligence desktop intelligence report. Uh, this process will work the same if I was using uh, web intelligence or desktop intelligence. So I'm going to select my publication control report. Business objects will then open up that report, and it will ask me uh, which query do I want to base my uh, my recipient list on. In this case I imaginatively called it query 1. Um, the data could come from a universe or you could use a personal data provider uh, if you built the report with the web intelligence rich client. So I'm going to put the resort ID then as the re uh, recipient identifier and I'll put the resort name as the name of the recipient and we'll choose to export to the entire list although you can if you wish to select individual uh, resort IDs uh, if you so wish but I'll use the entire list so now personalization this is how I'm going to filter the report um, so firstly I'm going to select a query within my resorts revenue uh, report uh, so I'm going to use the resort ID and then I'm going to map it to the resort ID in my uh, recipients uh, report, the control report. Uh, of course, this could be uh, an invoice ID, and you could have a field within your uh, recipients report as uh, uh, an invoice ID. Okay, so next thing is the format. So that's the format I'm going to publish a report to. Um, don't use web intelligence because all that happens when you filter a report using publications is a report filter gets added. If anybody were to open up the report in Webby Rich Client, they could actually just remove the filter and see all the data. So we're going to export to Adobe Acrobat or PDF. Destination. So in this example, we're going to send to a file system destination. So let's uh, click the tick box there. Uh, the directory I'm going to export to is C colon backslash statements, so that will put the, all the reports into a statements folder on uh, my business object server. If you want to export to an, an external location, so uh, a file system on another server, you must use a UNC path. Uh, I'm going to specify a name for the report, and I'm going to actually uh, put uh, revenue, so just hard code that. In a space, 
and then I'm going to use the user full name which actually maps to the recipient name in the dynamic recipients report full stop and the file extension so it automatically adds .pdf I also need to put in uh, an account which has permissions to uh, save the report uh, or reports to that location so there you go depending on how your business object system is configured you may not have to fill that out at all okay and um, that's it so let's save the publication and give it a go so uh, just to prove uh, if I open my start menu and go to computer C drive statements there's nothing in there at the moment let's schedule the publication so you would do that just like scheduling any other report and in this case um, because this is uh, just a demo I'm just going to set it to run now but in real life you can set it to run weekly daily with whatever you want so let's click schedule and the publication will start running so uh, yes we have to manually click uh, refresh uh, just see yes it's now running and if we go to that folder location nothing yet in fact actually I've got the same folder open twice still nothing so let's hit refresh see if it's still running good it's still running hasn't failed and there you go uh, the reports have suddenly appeared um, Let's just refresh again here, and there you go, the publication is a success. So, uh, if I was to open up uh, the Palmer's Beach uh, Revenue Report, there you go, you can see that report has got Palmer's Beach data in it. If I was to pick uh, French Riviera, there is data in there for that. Uh, one word of warning, uh, if a report doesn't contain any data for a particular recipient, such as this Australian one up here, you do get a report, but it just has nothing in it. So that's something to be aware of. Uh, crystal reports, you do have the ability to put a, an alert in to say, uh, don't deliver the report if there's no data. Anyway, that's all you need to do to create a publication and send to file locations. And that concludes uh, this video.